Let's bring in our deputy political editor, Sam Cote, is here with this exclusive story. And Sam, just explain to us exactly what is said in this footage. Well, let me take you a little bit back, Kabali. Um, over the last few days, Keir Starmer has been setting out a little bit more about his approach to the European Union last week over migration and over the weekend giving interviews saying he'd like a better deal than the one uh, that Boris Johnson negotiated. But he has been very cautious in the language that he uses, knowing that in the next general election he's got to win back a lot of voters who might have voted Brexit in 2016 and then uh, voted Tory in 2019. Uh, and so he hasn't... He's been careful not to scare the horses. Now, um, I was talking to a diplomat earlier this week as saying, but he was much more explicit than he's ever been before when he was over in Montreal, in Canada, just on Saturday night. He was doing a, um, a panel with the Nor Norwegian Prime Minister, and in it, he appeared to uh, promise to stay very close to EU rules. Let's take a listen. Most of the conflict with the UK being outside of the UK arises insofar as the UK wants to diverge and do different things to the rest of our EU mm. partners. Um, obviously, the more we share values, the more we share a future together, the less the conflict. Um, and actually, different ways of solving problems um, are, are, are become available. You know, actually, we don't want to diverge. We don't want to lower standards. We don't want to rip up um, environmental standards, working standards for people at work, um, food standards and all the rest of it. So suddenly you're in a space where, notwithstanding the obvious fact that we are outside of the EU and not in the EEA, uh, there's a lot more common ground than you might think. Huh. Now, I expect that those comments will draw lots of comment from people all around the place. Uh, I'm sure the Tories will say, look at Keir Starmer staying very close to the EU, basically when they talk about divergence, what they mean is whether or not we should start changing the rules away from those set by the European Union when we were members. And if, as Keir Starmer says, you don't want to diverge, that was the quote that we heard him uh, there say, uh, then that means that rules will stay pr roughly in line with what we had when we were members uh, of the European Union. That will prompt probably Brexiteers to say, well, look, what was the point in Brexit at all if you're not going to change your rules uh, to something a little different? Now, I was talking to uh, a leading expert in this, uh, Charles Grant from the European uh, Centre for European Reform. We hope to uh, hear a bit of that interview later. Uh, and in it, he said that it was he was uh, some, somewhat surprised mm -hmm. by these comments because uh, they do set out for a foreign audience, perhaps a bit more than he said uh, when uh, giving interviews in this country, but do provide a very clear path. Possibly, he would argue, a pro-business path, but it will mean that Brexit is asking what was the point of Brexit if that path is followed. Well, all right, Sam, appreciate that.